This is Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media, and I'm at the DEW conference here in LA, and I'm speaking with Tom Ryan, who is the head of Pluto TV. Tom, tell us about Pluto TV. Thanks for having me, Colin. Uh, Pluto TV creates television channels for the internet. Uh, we believe that there's a tremendous amount of great content available online and through uh, traditional, uh, traditional content companies, but it's really hard to find the good stuff, particularly if you don't know what you're looking for. So what we do is through a combination of technology, data, and uh, expert human curation is we deliver over 100 channels, um, live linear TV channels um, for the internet, which cover uh, categories such as music, sports, news, comedy, uh, and much more. And we deliver that in a very familiar television-like um, experience uh, to any device, web, mobile, or connected TV. Now, where does that content come from? Uh, we uh, source content from uh, a variety of sources. Some of our content comes from content owners who've chosen to syndicate their content uh, to third-party websites through platforms like YouTube and Daily Dailymotion. Um, other uh, content is licensed uh, directly between us and the content owner, um, such as content from multi-channel networks like Maker Studios and Funny or Die, uh, and more traditional media companies. And uh, their advertising, what happens to their advertising? Does that just pass through or, or what, how does that work? Uh, for um, the, um, the direct, uh, directly licensed content um, that we work with, with companies like Funny or Die, um, for example, they're serving um, their content and their advertising directly into our environment. Um, and then for content that's coming from uh, YouTube and other video platforms, um, that video, um, uh, the, the advertisements are passed through, um, through, uh, uh, through the platform um, into our environment. And uh, how do you actually stitch these together to make them to make them seamless? I mean, this is the, it's coming from all over the place. How do you make it seamless? Yeah, uh, that's the work of our uh, content curation team. Uh, a significant portion of our team is dedicated to content programming, and these guys are experts um, in their um, subject matter and, and, and at what they do. So um, we provide them with technology, tools, and data, but um, they um, they really go out and find the best um, content in any particular category. Um, they will take, um, for example, shorter form uh, web videos, a few minutes in duration each, and stitch those together into a longer form episode, maybe 30 or 60 minutes, with a narrative arc where the whole um, is greater than the sum of the parts, and it makes for a much uh, more enjoyable long-form viewing experience. So you said you, you talked about before uh, uh, before we, we started taping about um, a particularly interesting roller coaster sequence? That's right. Um, so one of our curators had the idea um, after uh, spending a lot of time uh, researching different videos on the web um, to do a, a series of episodes dedicated to roller coasters. Um, there's uh, a surprisingly a, a good amount of uh, videos dedicated to uh, roller coaster rides um, out there that people have taken. And um, he thought it would be fun to create an episode that was dedicated to the best roller coaster rides in America. So that was, um, you know, I believe I believe it was a 30-minute uh, episode with uh, all sorts of crazy roller coaster videos, um, and that became a series where we did the best roller coaster rides in other parts of, of the world. And uh, now you've attracted some pretty, pretty big attention from some very large media companies, right? Uh, yeah, we're working uh, with uh, a number of, uh, of media companies, but we've also taken investment from Sky, uh, formerly B Sky B, uh, in the UK. And, uh, you know, one of the things that a lot of these operators are doing is they have these hybrid set-top boxes now where they can take content both from um, OTT and traditional. And uh, interesting, they're blending them into the guides. So I've seen like Pandora channels in linear guides. Uh, it seems to me like, uh, wow, Pluto could, could slip right in there, right? Uh, yeah, we think that uh, there's a, a variety of um, uh, opportunities for us in the television space. Um, we launched um, as a launch partner with uh, Android TV and the Google Nexus Player. Uh, we've also been working closely with Amazon on Fire TV, um, where we're currently the number one entertainment app. Um, and uh, we think there's lots of uh, great opportunities um, in the whole connected TV ecosystem, including with um, traditional cable and satellite um, companies um, who could um, offer Pluto um, channels um, to, to their audience. It seems like this has been missing from the web. You know, this, this, um, we've been living with television 
in a programmed linear fashion for such a long time. So many of us are so used to having it in the background right there, but that's really been missing from the web. Um, sounds like Pluto could fill that, fill that role, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we think that um, you know, people consume TV um, in such vast quantities still uh, in this country. I think it's around four and a half hours per day for the average American. Um, a lot of uh, times you're, you're watching a specific, a specific show very intently or you may tune in at a specific time. But um, most of the time people have uh, the TV on for long periods um, and they may be watching it in the background, they may be paying you know, attention when they hear something that's of interest and then go back to what they're doing. Maybe they just have it on um, sort of for company um, or by force of habit. But it's, um, you know, music is the ultimate multitasking medium, but we think that TV has um, been a, a very strong second multitasking medium for a lot of people traditionally, and that is absent from the online world, and I think that that's a, a big opportunity for Pluto. And certainly makes it a very unique offering online. So uh, thanks very much for, for spending some time with us, Tom, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. This has been Colin Dixon with Endscreen Media. Thank you.